Then another related solidification, a different uh, so-called scenario. Now we are still looking at what? Phase diagram, right? Temperature versus composition, simple eutectic system, linear relation phase boundary lines. Make sense? And then now we are not only assuming what? No diffusion in solid, slow diffusion, very, very slow diffusion. But we are also not doing stirring within the liquid. If we are not doing stirring with the, within the liquid, there will be some so-called uh, diffusional mixing. When you are not doing stirring within the liquid, the liquid composition, in this case, remember we are dealing with alloy. We are doing with system that has changing composition. There will be diffusion mixing in liquid. So in this case, we have the assumptions. Quite often people find that they would reach so-called steady state. How fast does the system solidify? Quite often will be controlled by so-called diffusion process. The system can reach a steady state, which means fast enough. Remember, steady state is equilibrium or not equilibrium? Steady state is not equilibrium. Equilibrium means the net rate is zero, but steady state means you have a constant rate of something to happen, right? You are draining your battery at a constant current, or you are using your solar cell to power at a constant current. That's steady state or your fuel cell, whatever, right? Steady state, you have a constant flow of something. Steady state of solidification, which means, okay, the solid grows at a constant rate. But how fast is this rate? Quite often, it would be determined, unlike the pure element case, it will be determined by so-called diffusion. For pure element, will there be much diffusion involved? There will be, but not so much composition change, because pure element, the whether it's liquid or solid, it's the what? Same composition. But here, quite often, how fast you can solidify will be limited by how fast the stuff diffuses. Okay. Okay. Because quite often, how fast stuff diffuses, it's even slower than how fast you extract the heat. Which means. You are, it's cold enough, but somehow the diffusion is not enough. Then you start to form those stuff. You are limited by diffusion, not so much by heat extraction in this case. So in this case, the liquid composition within the liquid, it would change from liquid line to bulk composition within the liquid. Let's digest this. Now we said there is what? Within the liquid, there is diffusion. Deep within the liquid, what's the composition? If our initial composition is x0, deep within the liquid, far away from the interface, what's the composition? For simplicity, we can assume it's still what? x0. Make sense? Because initially, all my system is x0 deep within the liquid is not impacted by diffusion, I'm still x0. But right at the interface between what? Right at the interface between solid and liquid, we still assume local, read to yourself, local equilibrium, which means right at the interface between the two phases, solid on one side, liquid on the other side, the composition is still determined by the intercept with the phase boundary, local equilibrium. Okay, and as a result, we said this before, the system quite often reach steady state, which means it cools, the solidifies at a constant rate, the solid grows constantly rate into the liquid because balance of diffusion. This case quite often is not so much limited by heat extraction, but by diffusion, because diffusion compared with heat extraction quite often is even slower. Make sense? It's cold enough, but it's not uh, happening.
because it hasn't diffused enough. Okay? So for eutectic system, again, it will reach a eutectic point. Within the solid, you can, as you can imagine, that's still what? A gradual change in within the solid, the first bit of solid, later bit of solid, they have change in composition. Within the solid, that's still the coring effect. But within the liquid, it's no longer uniform. Okay? So, again, let's look at the phase diagram. We, this time, we assume no diffusion as before in the solid, but even within the liquid, that's still diffusion. That's still diffusion. So the composition profile, if we are at a T2, again, I made a mistake, T2, which is what? Lower than T1, but higher than T3. Let's draw the so-called quote-unquote composition profile, which is change of composition with location. Composition profile, change of composition with location. So the first bit of solid formed still has a concentration of what? Kx0, makes sense? The first bit of solid that forms still have this because we said it always at an interface follows so-called local equilibrium. Okay? And then at the interface, if my temperature is T2, my temperature is T2, at the interface, because of so-called local equilibrium, local equilibrium, if my temperature is T2, what's the local liquid composition? Local equilibrium, temperature is T2, the local liquid composition, just the, the horizontal isothermal line with the phase boundary, XL. And to compare XL with X0, is higher or lower? Higher. Do you see? So this, if this is our X0, XL is a little bit uh, higher. Make sense? And what's the solid composition? It's the other intercept, right? The solid at the interface, it will be isothermal with the, this point. The solid would be here. Make sense? XS. And XS is compared with X0 is a little bit higher or lower? Lower, right? X, X is lower than X0. And XX and XL satisfy our ratio. Make sense? And then deep within the liquid, here, we said it's diffusional phenomena. Deep within the liquid, for simplicity, we assume what? What's the liquid composition? Whatever is its so-called initial liquid composition, which is what? X0, right? So deep within the liquid, I'm still here. At the interface, I'm XL. XL is higher than X0. So do you see it's the concentration profile would look like something like this? Make sense? Do you see that? At the interface, I will have here. But deep, I'm going down again. Here, cross interface, I'm solid. Then, as we cool it further, at t equals t3, t equals t3, here. When, I, when the system reaches this temperature, okay, we're still drawing what? So-called composition profile change of composition with respect to location. So the first bit of solid is still what? Whatever it is, right? No change. X, K, X, zero. Make sense? And then when I'm at T3, what's my solid composition? When the system has T3 temperature, local equilibrium, my solid composition should just be X0, right? So the solid goes to here. I have solid on one left side, liquid on the right side. 
if my solid composition is here, what's my liquid composition? Still, remember, at the interface, it's local equilibrium. Right at the, right at the T3 temperature, the local liquid equilibrium liquid composition will be this guy. Make sense? Which is x0 divided by k, which is here. Make sense? Again, deep, deep within the liquid. I'm still assuming what? X0, no change. So it is something like this. Make sense? So that's kind of like, at any moment, the change in composition of this material. Of this material. Okay? And then, within the liquid, within the liquid, in order for the solid to grow, what should happen? From diffusion, let's think from diffusion point of view. Quite often, people observed is the how fast does this interface move? People find okay, it would reach a steady state here. It all depends on how fast I can reject solute into the remaining liquid. You see what I mean? Essentially, how fast this peak can move, this local richer thing. Because for the local phase to transform from liquid to solid, from liquid to solid, I have to go from liquid to solid. I have, I need a change in local composition, a decrease in salt in composition. But where should that go? That should be so-called rejected or thrown deeper into the liquid. And that takes what? Takes time if you are not uh, stirring. Diffusion takes time even if it's within the liquid. Make sense? Just when you think, when you put a sugar into a big bottle of water, if that piece of sugar sits in the bottle, you may find, okay, I'm not tasting as sweet as what I hope it is. Make sense? Because even within liquid, the diffusion still takes time. So that's the same thing here. In order for this local region to go from liquid to solid, that local solute has to be thrown deeper or diffused deeper into the liquid. And that takes time. And that quite often limits how fast the solidification can happen. That's how fast the steady state rate will be determined by how fast I can reject, I can diffuse the solute from local peak into deeper of the liquid so that I can go from liquid here into solid here. Make sense? So as this process go and go, diffusion go and go, if you are patient enough, eventually we, we are very close to the melting, uh, sorry, equilibrium, sorry, uh, eutectic temperature. My solid would have a large composition which is relatively flat, x0. Then within the eutectic, I have a change in eutectic composition. Okay, that's what it's going to look like within this material within this material, if it's controlled by a diffusion process.